Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is Explore Area of Triangles. It's very similar to Area of Parallelograms except uh, one little twist. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com and this is a sixth grade uh, math lesson. So you'll see when you go to this awesome website, um, uh, you'll see a f uh, several links across the top. Make sure you uh, click the sixth grade one. Okay, so our question here is what is the relationship among the areas of triangles rectangles and parallelograms okay so if you guys have some tracing paper and a ruler and some scissors that would be helpful in this lesson so on this grid here we're going to draw a rectangle that has a base of six units and a height of uh, five units okay so here we are six going across height of five right there okay and then uh, what's the area of this rectangle okay from the last lesson six times five is is thirty and the, remember area is always in in square units so since we don't know units we're going to just say units squared or square units okay don't forget that part okay all right, so we're going to trace this rectangle onto a, a tracing paper and draw the diagonal from top uh, the top left-hand corner to the lower right-hand corner, okay? So a diagonal, you guys, is just a line segment that connects two non-adjacent vertices. So here's some vertices. Here's a vertice, the corners. The corners are the vertices right here, and the non-adjacent ones are the ones where you skip. Okay, so this is a diagonal. So we'll, we'll draw this diagonal right here. Okay, so it says trace it. There's our rectangle traced and draw a diagonal right there. Okay, let's slide that up. So now we're going to cut that rectangle out. Okay, I've already cut it out right there. And then we're going to cut along the diagonal. So I'm going to go cut, 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 cut right there. And then we're going to compare these two triangles. Okay, so cut, cut, cut. There we go. Okay. And then remember, uh, this was 5, this was 6, and this was 5, and this was 6. So these triangles, and there's a right angle right there. So these triangles are uh, congruent, you guys. And so congruent figures are, the, uh, are figures that have the same shape and same size. So are these triangles congruent? Well, yeah, they have the, the same shape. They're 6 by 5s. They have a right angle, so they're, they're congruent to each other, okay? So how is the area of each right triangle related to the area of this rectangle? Okay, so here's the original rectangle right there. Remember, the area was 5 times 6, or 30 square units. Okay, so since these are both equal to each other because they're congruent to each other, then they're each half the size of the rectangle right there. So if we uh, took 30 and divided it by uh, by 2, it'll give us the area of the triangle right there. So each triangle is 15, 15 square units. Okay, remember the area is base times height, 6 times 5, and the triangle right here is 6 times 5 divided by 2, or half of 6 times 5, because this triangle is half of this rectangle right there. And that's what this lesson is about, you guys, is to is to explore and understand that triangles are just half of a rectangle or half of a parallelogram. So we'll, we'll talk more about that in a second. So explain how finding the area of the rectangle is like finding the area of a right triangle. And how is it different? Okay, in both cases, we found the product of the base times the height, 6 times 5. But for the triangle, we found half the product because they were, there was two equal triangles. So it was half the product of the base times the height. So it gave us 15 right there. So analyze. So because a rectangle is a parallelogram, uh, its area can be found by using the rectangles, or sorry, parallelograms, or area equals base times height. So if we use that formula for our result from uh, the investigate part, uh, to write a formula for the area of a triangle with base times height. Let's go ahead and do that right there. So the area is equal to half the base times the height. So if we know a, a parallelogram is base times height, imagine cutting that parallelogram in half. It gives us two triangles, and each triangle, uh, they're both congruent, so they're both uh, equal, so it's half base times height. Okay, so why did the two triangles have to be congruent for the formula to make sense? Well, if the triangles weren't uh, congruent, they would not have to been uh, divided the rectangle into into two equal parts. And if they were not equal, then we could have not have been able to divide by two to get the area of each triangle. Okay, so this will always happen. Any parallelogram, if you slice it down the middle, it'll give us two congruent triangles. So the area of any parallelogram, including rectangles, can be found using 
area equals base times height. And so we can use that uh, formula to look at more triangles right here. So here we go. So trace this triangle out and cut it uh, and cut it out and make two copies of this acute triangle. So what we're going to do is trace this out on some trace paper right there and make another congruent triangle. Okay, so now we're going to arrange the two triangles to make a parallelogram. Okay, so I'm going to try, you guys, I'm going to flip this guy. I don't know if this will let me do this. I'm going to flip it upside down. Okay, and then I'm just going to slide it over and make a parallelogram. So can you see this parallelogram right there? See that parallelogram right there? Okay, so here it is right there. Okay, so are the triangles congruent? Yep because um, well, we just cut it right in half. So if the area of the parallelogram is 10, and 10 just came up out of nowhere, so uh, it could be 20, could be 50, but let's pretend like the area is 10 square centimeters. What's the area of each triangle? Okay, so if this whole thing is 10, then each one is 5 because they're congruent triangles. So the, because the triangles are congruent, their area of each one of them is uh, half of that, so it would be five square centimeters. Okay, so let's let's repeat that step with this uh, obtuse triangle right there. So what we're going to do is trace that triangle out. Okay, so let's slide that up right there. Trace the triangle out. Okay, and then we'll arrange them to make a parallelogram. So there's that triangle right there, and let's arrange it to make a parallelogram. So let's see if I can do that. I'm going to flip it upside down and line it up to make a nice parallelogram right there I gotta twist it a little bit more you guys get the idea okay so there's our our good looking parallelogram right there if I can if I can do that right okay there it is right there okay so um, uh, let's generalize so can we use the formula area equals one half base times fight uh, base times uh, heights uh, to find the area of that triangle well, sure. Um, uh, for any triangle, a second congruent triangle can be drawn to form that parallelogram. And so the area of each parallelogram is base times height. So the area of each triangle is always going to be half of base times height. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And take care and say hi to your math teacher. They're doing a good job. Take care.